See you in a minute. So people often say to me when I make videos on PMR radios, such as uh, this one here, and people say, what good are they, Fred? They're only half a watt. You only get three quarters of a mile open range. You know, what, good, what good's that? Well, you'd be surprised actually how useful it is. Because here I am, we're on holiday, which is lovely. And as I've said before, we like to go miles away from anywhere. But the problem is, I'm walking down this country rain here from our cottage. There's no phone signal. The nearest phone mast is out of range of our cell phones. So we can use the Wi-Fi at the cottage, but we've got no cellular coverage. And also, the sat-nav location, when you put in a postcode, it ends about half a mile down this lane here. So we like to order our shopping for when we get here. We don't want to pack the car completely full of shopping, so we get Tesco's to deliver it. But they, they can't find the cottage. Which means I have to walk down the lane here. And I'll wait for them and uh, give them directions, otherwise they get a bit confused. And if we don't get any shopping in, we're in trouble. So this is where the walkie-talkies come in handy, because in a minute, when I get down to this lane, Jenny can get a uh, update on her phone. That's a live update, and that tells me roughly where the, uh, the lorry is, or the van is. So I've got an idea. There we go, and the sun shines on the righteous, or the guy with the walkie-talkie. So here we are then, we're not that far from the cottage, I would say. Just over a quarter of a mile, I guess. It's taken me about eight or nine minutes to get here. And we should have no problem getting back. So let's see if I can get an update from the good lady. Okay, what's the uh, latest ETA on our Tesco's driver? He's at the fish and chip bar at the moment. Okay, so would you want us about five minutes from here? Just the other side of the Swatham Road, so probably three, four minutes. Okay, copy that. That's Mrs. Fred there, so yeah, shouldn't have to wait too long. And also with this radio, if it was dark, which of course it's not, but uh, I've got a very nice flash lamp. Oh, I can signal with him. Right, there he is. I've got eyeballs on him. He's a long way down. Let's just let Mrs. Fred know. Okay, I got eyeballs on the guy. He's, uh, he's just coming along now, so expect him in about two minutes. Okay. I've lost sight of him. Oh, that might have been a false alarm, because the person that I saw in the van has turned off, so uh, hopefully that wasn't him. I'm still waiting for him now. Uh, I wonder if he's pulled over because his sat nav has run out and now he's going to be phoning Mrs. Fred for directions. Once again, this is where these are useful because I now don't know what's going on, whether the guy's turned around and he might be phoning Mrs. Fred. So, without radio contact, I would be completely in the dark. Here he comes. I flashed him with the lamp. He got a little bit lost. Okay, he's coming now. I got eyeballs on the guy. There we go. So yeah, he, he did get lost. He the sat nav run out, and uh, he did get lost. Right. Okay. He's on his way to you now. He's literally just pulling into your lane. Okay. There you go. So yeah, he turned off to a different cottage. And again, that's, you know, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, it's where walkie-talkies really, really help. Everyone says, oh, radio's dead, and you don't need walkie-talkies, and... But when you're out in the wilderness, if you're going on a hiking, if you're walking in a group, or you're just a little bit off the beaten track, like me, it's, uh, it's a good thing, isn't it, to have a radio? Anyway, I better quicken my step, because Mrs. Fred's going to be, uh, unloading the shopping all on her own. The guy did offer me a lift. <laughs> but I 
wanted to finish the video and I didn't want to record the guy because uh, obviously that's that's not that's not on is it there we go mission accomplished shopping dog everybody's happy <laughs> Anyway, a um, bit different this video, isn't it? Just a bit of a ad-lib video as I'm on me holidays with the two dogs and I've been deserted by one of them. Anyway, thank you ever so much for uh, watching the video. Of course, do appreciate you tuning in. Uh, normal radio stuff and whatever coming on the next video. But as for now, as always, for me and Bella, and Kenny's in there somewhere, uh, stay safe and look after each other. Catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah.